Hello everyone, this is Chrissy from TrainingGrounds.com and today is a very special day because it is our very first Freebie Friday and this video is going to introduce what I consider to be my most important and valuable free business tool. In this video I'm going to introduce you to and show you a bit of how to use the tool Evernote. And Evernote does have two versions. You can either use the free version or the paid for or pro version. And I believe that the paid for version at the time of this recording is $5 per month. And the upgraded version allows you to import video notes and Word documents, PDF files, and a few other different file types into the Evernote system. So you can use it as a note taking research program as well as sort of a cache for all of your important documents. I personally have used Evernote for about a year and a half now and I've never had to upgrade to the paid for version but it does have a few more options if you're interested. And Evernote is also cloud-based so that you can access it from devices such as your computer, iPad, or smartphone. If you have an Android phone or any kind of smartphone, most of them are compatible to work with Evernote. It also has a web browser login so if you're on a device that doesn't have the Evernote application installed on it, you can go to the Evernote website and log in and still access all of your notes and files that you may need. So I'm just going to give you a quick preview of the installed application on my desktop computer as well as the Evernote website to give you a feel of how both of them look and how you would operate in both of them just depending on whether you want to install the application or not. So this is the Evernote application. I've installed it on my computer and I am logged into my Evernote account. On the side here you can see notebooks which is where my notes are stored. And everybody does use Evernote a little bit differently but the way that I organize my notes and my notebooks is each notebook has is a main subject so I have a notes a note stack for my personal notes and a note stack for my websites and a note stack for my business. And when I expand each note stack, I have individual notebooks for individual clients or individual items such as grocery lists or to-do lists for my personal section. And when I click on those notebooks, this middle pane shows me all of the notes that I have within those notebooks. So everything is very organized. I have everything under sections and subsections. And each note, I try to make sure I give it a title up here so I know just at a glance what each note is for. Evernote also gives you the option to add tags to your notes. So you can search for notes within Evernote and find exactly the note that you're looking for for whatever item you're, you happen to be trying to find it for. And you can click the sync button up here to sync all of your items up or Evernote will do it every 30 seconds or so. So in the application I'm just going to show you really quick how to make a new notebook, how to make a notebook stack, and how to make a new note. So first I'm going to come up here and go to file and new notebook. I'm going to name my new notebook training grounds video because most likely I'm going to delete this notebook after the video. And once I have this notebook created, I can begin adding notes to it. And to create a new note in Evernote, you can either, there's a few different ways that you can do it. You can either click new note up here, or you can click file new note, or you can actually hit control N on your keyboard and a brand new note will show up for you. Now first I'm gonna add a title and this is going to be test for video. And then, of course, I would begin typing my notes. Now, the really great thing about Evernote is if you're not the best typist or you just prefer not to type your notes, Evernote does have the option for audio notes, so you can actually record your voice um, if you have a headphone or a microphone. And you can also do ink notes. If you have a graphics tablet for your computer with a stylus that allows you to draw on your on your monitor, then you can actually create an ink note. So it's a handwritten note in Evernote. Once I have a new notebook and note added, I can go ahead and add tags if I wish, or I can go ahead and leave them alone. I think I am going to add a tag just for the purpose of this. And click test tag, and then hit enter to save it. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do notebook stacks. And this creates the, the large stack of notebooks, sort of the master subject, if you will. So to add this new notebook to a stack, I'm going to go ahead and right click. And that opens up a submenu. I'm going to hover over Add to Stack, which again opens up a new submenu. And then I'm going to click on New Stack to create a new master stack for my notebook. You'll see that the default name is, is Notebook Stack, which obviously is not something that I want. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to rename to Test Video Stack. And then I hit Enter and it saves. So now I have a new notebook stack, a new notebook, and a new note added. So now I'm going to show you how to do that and operate this on the website of Evernote. So this is what the Evernote website looks like at the time of this recording. So I'm going to go ahead and up here click on Web Sign In to sign into my Evernote account. And now you'll see what looks like the application version of Evernote. They've tried to make it a little as seamless as possible between the website version of Evernote and the installed application version so that you can know so that you know how to use it um, and you won't have you won't be confused when you log in on the website again you'll see all of my notebooks and my notebook stacks on the far right you'll see individual notebooks in the middle and then you'll see on the far right side the the actual note itself so to add a new notebook in the web interface, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little arrow that's next to Notebooks and click on New Notebook. I'm just going to name this Web Test Notebook. Again, it'll be deleted after this video. And click Save. I'm going to click on that notebook. And once I've selected the notebook, there's a green button up here for New Note. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to give this note a title and then I can type my note in this area. And again, Evernote will autosave as long as the autosave up here is selected, and you'll know it's selected if it's turned to green. So I'm going to go ahead and let it autosave this and add this to a new notebook stack. So when I have the notebook selected, I'm going to click on this arrow, and I'm going to click on Add to Stack, and I'm going to click on New Stack. And I'm going to give this another test name, click on Save. And now I've created two new notebook stacks, new notebooks, and two new notes in about less than 10 minutes. So I hope that you guys can see some of the applications that you can use Evernote for. Usually you'll begin with just keeping certain notes for little minor notes for maybe ideas or things that you need to do, grocery lists, that kind of thing. Um, Evernote does have the option to share notebooks and notes with other people, which actually makes it really great for team plan for team planning, especially if you're working in a virtual world or project planning, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and post a couple other videos of how other people use Evernote just to give you guys a few ideas to get you started. And I hope you've enjoyed this Freebie Friday video, and stay tuned because next week we'll have a new application for you. Thank you.